Good morning, everybody. It's Jean from One Day at a Time Farmstead. Today, I'm going to be putting out my video for Cruptober. Jenny from Scratch Mage, Jenny Scratch Mage Kitchen, and Tony from Kettle Kitchen invited me to their collaboration for Cruptober. So I'm so excited. In the month of October, there's two videos per day. Channels has worked very hard on these videos and on their recipes for Croptober. So guys, go watch all their videos. There's going to be a link in the description to all the channels that are participating. Excuse the rooster in the background. There is going to be um, a link to Tony's channel as well as Jenny's channel. They're going to be doing a giveaway on November the 2nd. I'll list all the times and I'll list the date again in the description. We're doing hedgehog balls. I'll explain a little bit more about that when we get to cooking. So guys, go watch all the videos, two a day. The hashtag will be there so you can follow the playlist for all the channels that are involved in this collaboration. So follow along, go watch each video, make a meaningful comment on each video. Because they work very hard, guys, on the recipes, on the videos, all the editing, everything it takes to do one of these videos. So please go make sure you leave a meaningful comment. That'll greater make greater chances in the giveaway for you to win prizes. Again, we'll list the times. We'll list the channels that are involved in this collaboration and lots of great recipes, guys. Lots of them. I've been watching them and I know there's many of them that I am definitely going to try. So I appreciate Tony and Jenny for inviting me to this collaboration to participate. That means the world to me. I love meeting new friends and that's what happens during these collaborations. You meet great new people. So guys, stay tuned. We're going to be doing our Croptober video in just a little while. Y'all have a blessed day. All right, guys, so our hedgehog balls are going to be made with ground round. It's a very lean meat, ground beef. It's 93.7. So it's 93% lean and 7% fat. We want this to be a lean ball for our hedgehog balls. All right, the first thing I'm going to use is the Redmond Real Salt. This is ancient fine sea salt. We're gonna use one tablespoon. Guys, if y'all have never tried this Redmond Real Salt, you don't know what you're missing. This is the best salt without all the added stuff or the stuff that's taken out. It's just unrefined mineral salt. So I suggest you try it. If you like to cook, it's the best thing you can possibly cook with. I'm also gonna put about a half a teaspoon of the smoked Redmond Real Salt, the chef's blend, and just give it a little smoky taste. Look how pretty. If there was smell-o-vision, I know you would love to smell it. <laughs> so, it packs some flavor. We're going to do some ground cayenne red pepper. And it's about a tablespoon. I'm in a teaspoon, excuse me. I forgot to mention, it's a little under four pounds of ground round. Gonna do some Tony's Creole seasoning, about a teaspoon. Gonna use some garlic powder. I'm gonna use two tablespoons. I'm gonna use a tablespoon of the crushed red peppers. I'm going to use Pampered Chef's Bell Pepper Herb Rub. 
It is a rub, but it has great flavor. I'm going to use a tablespoon. Half of a teaspoon of the ground red pepper. All right, some people call this porcupine balls, meatballs. I call it hedgehog. To me, they look more like hedgehogs than porcupines. All right, guys, we're going to chop up two large onions. We're going to mince them very fine in the mincer here. We're going to use our lovely Kulina knife. Got this for my husband for Father's Day. I believe it was Father's Day. These are awesome. But I wanted to let y'all know. Do not throw away your onion peels, especially at this time of the year, because you can make quercetin tea. Boil them, steep them, and drink it with honey, or you know, you can add a little um, lemon or peppermint or anything of your choice. Uh, we use the essential oils to do that, but. Especially, you know, at flu season and stuff like that up on us. Really great to maybe heat off something that might be trying to attack your immune system. So don't throw away the onion peels, guys. I have a video on it uh, about quercetin tea. Go look up that video. I'll link it in the description. So now we're going to add our two large minced onions. And we're going to start mixing everything up by hand. So I decided to add one more cup of rice. This basmati rice, I've tried all kinds of rice, works better to me than any other kind of rice. I did realize that I used the wrong blade on the onion chopper, the food processor. I accidentally had the chopped, not the uh, mince, but that's fine. It'll cook down. We lined our pan for now with dry wax paper. All right, we wound up with 36 hedgehog balls. All right, this is a Pampered Chef um, Instapot, but it's also a slow cooker. So, it's just like having a crock pot, but we'll put it on the slow cook here. I put a little bit of water in the bottom of this. If you use a heavier fat meat, you don't have to do that. But since this is such a lean meat, I don't want it to stick into the bottom. So, we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit of water in there so the drippings can catch in the bottom without them sticking. We've lined the bottom. Now we're going to start our second row. Second row in. Now we put the lid on and start cooking. All right, we're going to set our pot for slow cook. We're going to set it for four hours and 30 minutes. We'll see you in a little bit. Now while the hedgehog balls are cooking, we're going to cook up some gravy that'll pour over the top of them. I just put in eight cups of water. I love using this uh, Members Mark, the Tony's Beef Base. I'm gonna put four large tablespoons. I have an old cafeteria pot that my ex-mother-in-law left to me, and I love it. I thought about scrubbing it and cleaning it, but I just figured I'd just leave it how she left it. So, we're going to vigorously stir this up, get all that beef base mixed in, and I'm going to add some other seasonings. Before it gets hot, the water... I'm going to add in two more packs of the Lipton Onion Soup Mix, or dip mix, whatever you want to call it, but while it's still cold. I use two tablespoons more of the garlic, and a half of a teaspoon more of the Creole seasoning. And we're just going to vigorously stir that 
get everything mixed in good and let it start to boil now while that's going I'm going to make my water for my quercetin tea now I have another half a cup of water I'm sorry a cup of water to a half a cup of all-purpose flour and I'm gonna mix that up and this is cold water you do not want to put flour in hot water to make it lumpy. And then we're going to add that to this over here. And we're going to mix it up real good. Just a good little thickening agent. And we're just going to continue to whisk it around and let it come back to a boil until it gets where it needs to be. That was my dog sneezing, excuse us. All right, I rinsed off my onion peel. That's from Yellow Onions. I'm gonna pour my hot, hot water in here. I have a strainer in there. And then we're gonna put the lid on and let it steep. I let it steep for about 10 to 15 minutes. It came to a good boil. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn it down to low and just let it cook. Let it get thicker and thicker. All right, I'm gonna take my lid off. We're gonna pick my strainer up. Look how beautiful the color is. Now we're gonna add our honey and lemon to it and you can put whatever flavor you want with yours. I'm using a tablespoon of honey and some of these Young Living Lemon Drops. Five. I know this is a little extra and it's not really part of Croctober, but being Croctober is in October and we have all these fun flus and stuff kind of coming up on us, I just thought it would be fun to include this so that y'all could see, drink, and help your immune system. Took the lid off halfway. You do not have to do this, but I do. And I spoon some of my gravy that I made over the top. All right, we spooned some gravy over the top. Let me just tell y'all this, guys. This is a very versatile recipe. You could do barbecue meatballs, sweet and sour meatballs, anything you desire, you can do with this recipe. You're just gonna have rice in it. And the rice is what makes the little spines and spikes on the little hedgehog or porcupine, whatever you wanna call it. But this is halfway through. By the time it's finished, you'll have little spiky balls. All right, look at the cute little hedgehogs. We're gonna get a sample before we add the other gravy to it. All right, we're gonna let Mark be the guinea pig. What we have here? This is our little hedgehog balls. You know, we've had them before. We've had them with red sauce, too. Yeah, I like them with the red sauce. I did them with the brown gravy tonight. Ah. No kidding. I just took it out. I'm good, y'all. Good? Mm hmm. All right. Yeah. Good deal. <laughs> now tell me that ain't a cute little hedgehog. <laughs> Or porcupine, whatever you want to call it. I just think they look more like little hedgehogs. All right, we put a little gravy over Marks. So we're gonna let him try it with the gravy. He insists on having more already. Go ahead. <laughs> you like it with the gravy? Mm -hmm. Good baby, deal. Baby kitty. Yeah. Mm, baby kitty's trying to get baby some hedgehog too. 